what am up though guys i'm in glendale heights illinois your favorite a1 the one who encourages you to a1 they are conducting a 1a i do have my clipboard with me i am not in my uniform so we will see how this goes These people got a lot of bad ratings, a whole lot. Finance department, police department. Community development. You know what, let me immediately ask for The accounts. How can I help you? Hello, hi, ma'am. What's your first name? I'm Sue. How can I help you? Sue. Okay, good. Is there a reason why, uh, or never mind. I need to do an inspection on the uh, the expenditures for 2020, including account numbers. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how you'd go about doing that. Okay. I would appreciate it if you shut the camera off, though. Yes, I'm recording audio and video. I would like you to shut it off. I'm not giving you my permission to use my, my to video me. Ma'am, I don't need permission. Everything that we're talking about is going to be recorded. I am so professional. And I'm as, not ask, I'm asking that you not record me. As a matter of fact, I'm talking in a low voice. I'm even going to okay, And I'm my asking voice. you through a window to please not record me. And I'm asking you to please not escalate. Okay. I'm going to please ask. I'm going to walk away for a moment. Okay. Immediately, she, she throws a fit. See what I'm talking about? These people got poor reviews for a reason. A water meter my body camera is on uh, let me look for the camera that I'm gonna be requesting where is it at it's probably that camera right there right away right when I asked her she I don't know if it captured on my camera or not probably my body camera she threw her hands up like this and said, how can I help you? With a badass attitude. So let's see who she calls now. She's probably calling the police. She said she doesn't know how about going about that. So I should tell her ignorance of the law is not an excuse. Just like a police, he expects you to know all the answers so you don't get arrested. He'll tell you ignorance of the law is not an excuse. But these are paid employees to know the stuff. But they could act ignorant all day long. Look what it says right there. The village of Glendale Heights strives to improve the quality of the life for all its residents and I can't really see it's got glare, serve and protect and provide high standard of services and programs. So we'll see. Like I said, they got they got like 13, they got about 15 reviews, all of them are poor or negative. So we'll see how this goes. go ahead and walk to the administrative so I could start filing FOIs. Animal licensing, business license renewal, garage sale permit, purchasing, real estate transfer stamps. 
water brimming. Hello, hi, ma'am. May I ask what your first name is? My name is Teresa. How can I help you? Teresa, yes, ma'am. I need to do an inspection on the general fund for 2020, the one with the account numbers. Okay, so this is, I'm water billing, so it's not my cup of tea, but I certainly will help you. Yep, because it does I, say I, finance. I'm going to have to get someone to clean Sure, to sure. So well, you're, you're seem, you seem a little bit more respectful. The other lady was very... I'm so sorry, but let, me, let me get you someone, but I have to know exactly what it is in a piece of Sure, and I am recording audio and video, just to let you know. Okay, so this is the finance department. Oh. So, what is it exactly that you're looking for? Yes, ma'am, I need to do an inspection on the budget for 2020, the one that includes the account numbers. On 2020 budget? Yes, ma'am. That includes account numbers. Account numbers. Yeah. Now, I have a question for you. Okay. Is this something that needs to be FOIA, the Freedom of Information Act? No. Okay. Just want to make sure I want to go to the right person. Okay. Like I said, I'm water so I don't know. Yeah. Well, this. the person would would have that in their possession would be your your finance director or his employees. Sure. Then I then I will go to them. Okay, ma'am. And give me a minute. Okay? Sure. Absolutely. See, like, there's a complete difference between A and B. There goes A right there. If you don't have that information, I cannot give you that stuff. I don't have that information. So you will have to get a FOIA. Doug? Doug? Yes. Doug, what's his job title? Okay. Ma'am, the stuff you're writing down on... All right. Okay. All right. At least she has a little more sense than the other lady. There's a reason why these folks got zero stars on Yelp and Google. Like I'm not the only one that that has poor um, experiences with these employees. There's many people, you know. I'm just not the regular person that comes in here dealing with what, what every, every other person. Absolutely, okay. ma'am. Thank so, you. Give us a couple of minutes. Sure. Minutes I'll be standing right here momentarily. Always encourages you to. See, regular folks come in here and get permits for stuff, pay water bills. But only if the people know about the Freedom of Information. Only if the people know about the Freedom of Information Act. These are all our employees here. She immediately, she had a bad attitude. She said she went and talked to somebody named Doug. Then she's writing down on her memo note sending me away just to give me a piece of paper that's a piece of paper that says go online go ahead i'm sorry if i seem short i'm, I'm not a fan of cameras um the village administrator is Doug Flint, and he's going to be coming down to talk with you because okay I, this is beyond my capability well ma'am i just wanted to tell you this may i ask what your job title is i am just a desk clerk okay ma'am you said that you didn't give me permission. Thank you you, you probably that. now are aware that I am able to record I am in here. Now. I did not know that. Okay. And like I said, I Thank just you. don't like. Well, Thank before you. before I even said anything, ma'am, you threw your hands up and you said, "How can I help you?" It's, we have someone come it's down, like sir, okay? okay. Our village administrator, because unfortunately, like I said, we're just water billing. That's so fine. We, we don't have the answers, but we'll have someone down. Sure, sure. Okay, ma'am. See folks come in here and they got traffic and all that.
So I'm waiting for your administrator to come down here. She got her attitude adjusted quick. See what they're talking about. Okay. Yeah, sure, not a problem. Okay. Meanwhile, ma'am, what's the first name of your FOIA officer? I'm so sorry. It's so hard to hear. What's the first name of your FOIA officer? Our FOIA officer is Janie. That's the one who usually takes care of it. So let me let me see if she I, she might be at lunch, but let me see. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I don't know if she's the technical one, but she's the one who usually handles Well, I'm here for two purposes, to see the finance book and to speak to your FOIA officer. Okay. Okay. You know, we're willing to help with whatever we can. We just have sure. to find the right person. Sure. Okay, ma'am. Okay? I comprehend. Um, our village administrator, okay, hi, sir. Hey, yes, sir. How are you? hey, how's it going? Did this Good. young lady relay what my request was? Uh, well, she said that you wanted a bunch of information. Specific. Okay, good. She told you that I wanted a bunch of information, but that's not what I told her. Generically, sir. I'm generically speaking. Okay. Well, you see, that's how people get in trouble. Okay. So what, specifically, what do you want? Okay, sure. Well, it's not what I want, or it's not even a demand. I have the right to view. And I want to view the 2020 budget with the account numbers on the side. I'm currently at. I'm currently at this second not using online. It's easy for them to tell you online. Yep. Currently at this second, I'm not using online at this second. That's the reason why I'm here at Town Hall to view the hard copy. Okay. Yes. You want to view it right this second? Well, that's a that's a, a, a public record that shall be furnished immediately. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can find it for you. My man. It's online. I'm not sure we have a hard copy for a public view, but. Well, yeah. I mean, you are the you are the, are you the comptroller as well? No. Okay. You do handle the finance finances, so I would believe that there is a hard copy, possibly with your memo notes on it as well. Uh, so if you're going to get memo notes, right, that's going to be... No, that's if they're in the book. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. if we have a book that doesn't have memo notes... That's fine, that's I'll fine. i find it. That's fine. What specifically in the budget are you looking for? Well, there's many things I'm looking for. I'd like to sit down and scroll through the book. You can't take it with you? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Let me see what I can find. What's your answer? I'm dealing with the Freedom of Information, sir. It doesn't require a first name. Uh... I need some kind of information on who I'm giving this to. Well, I'm going to be standing here. It doesn't require I'm a first... I'm not here and watch you for three hours while you look for it. No, no, no. I don't think it'll take that long, sir. Um, and anyway, uh, a name will really not do anything. A, a name is not even applicable. It will if you run out with it. Not at all, sir. Well, how do I trust you to know that? Well, sir, I you, you have me on good faith telling you that I will not do such thing. That is a crime, sir. I'm not here committing crimes. I am here abiding by state statutes. Okay. And I am conducting a private audit as well. Um, okay. Okay, sir. Let me see if I can find it. Meanwhile, could you bring your business card as well? Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, can you when you come okay. back? Uh, maybe. Thank you. All right. Okay. Okay. I did send it to him. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll wait. Okay. Yeah. Cause I think she's not going to come. Okay. 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 All right. Ooh. Yeah. Ah. Mm -mm. See what he says? He's 
he, he says, if you're going to run off with it, so now you're, now you're painting a picture of me. Now you're, you're calling me a... You guys witnessed that? He said, well, I need your name in case you run off with the book. Sir, that's a crime. I would never do that. Now you just open up an internal investigation for your entire career. For your entire career. For all these years you've been working here and all the years you're going to conduct working for the people. If they put me a chair in every town hall, I'll sit here leg on leg from eight, from 8 in the morning all the way to 6, telling everybody who's paying their water bills and who's coming and getting these permits. Stop, stop doing that. Start investigating the people who are charging you. Bring your bill and ask them to explain it for you detail by detail. That's the only way we'll be able to change things. Don't come down here and bow down to these people. These people are the workers of the people. So we, we have to start setting these folks straight. And the key is the way to do that is reading through your legislative, reading through the FOIA Act. And, uh, you know, um, start inquiring. Now let's see what he got to say. We don't keep uh, hard copies, but I will print one off for you. Okay, my man, let me ask you a question. When is the last hard copy you had here from 97? Oh, I have no idea. You have no idea. Is there, it's required by law to keep a hard, how can you? We have a, it's in PDFs on our computers. Okay, a printout would be fine. Roughly around how many pages is it? 400. 400. Is that for me to keep? Yep. Okay, my man. You see, uh, I'll go ahead and be waiting for that momentarily. Okay. It does have the account numbers. It's our budget. I'll print it out for you and you'll see. Hi. 400 pages. So you see what they do is they go back there and say, oh no, oh no. They're, they're, they start panicking. Oh, he I wants could. to look at our yeah, hard copy. I said something happened to him. So. Let's just go out so and print out the same one online because we make sure the one online so is edited. But we'll take it step by step. That also got the account numbers in there and we will be inquiring. What's going on? And I say... What's going on? So, okay, just one question. You know, I don't want to keep him going there, checking things, if he's not coming back anymore. I swear to God, like I said, I wish I could sit leg on leg here and, and help the people of the, these communities. So just get a general understanding that we are the bosses. A lot of people come down here and bow down and kneel. Meanwhile, let them start filling out a foyer. Oh, ma'am, I wanted to ask you, was your FOIA officer coming out here? Oh, I thought Doug took care of that. Let me go see. I'm Two so purposes. Sorry. I thought you did it again. She's not in the car. I don't think there's anybody back in this. See, that lady don't take her own co-worker's advice. She said, let me go double check. I don't, I don't believe what you tell me. Let me go back there and check if, she, if Janie's back there, the FOIA officer. Twenty twenty or twenty twenty one? Twenty twenty. Yeah, it's not by year. Nineteen twenty. I get it, but it's not by year. Our fiscal year is May to May. Yeah, yeah. That may have the information that I'm seeking. So, are you looking for fiscal year twenty nineteen through May first of twenty nineteen through April thirtieth of twenty twenty, or May first twenty twenty through? April yeah, first quarter. For, that's that's the one there. Which one? Nineteen to twenty. March to March, March to April. So, fiscal year 19 to 20. Yes, sir. Okay. If it ain't one thing, it's the MF's mother. He got the body and shape of a police officer, but he's not. Yes, ma'am. Doug Flynn is our actual... FOIA officer too. Good. So you've got both of them at the same time. Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. You have a good day. <laughs>
Now I'm going to say the will T is good. Good. Salute to fake Mike Reunion. good. He's the FOIA officer. So right now I'm really going to get on his butt. You wait and see. You wait and see. Pause. See if they got a blank piece of paper somewhere here. So I could fin I could fill out a FOI. Oh no. Oh, let me see if they got some on this counter right here. Let me see how fill out one of these. Can I help you? Hi ma'am. No, I just need some of these right here. Oh, okay. Thank you. Sure. These are free to the public, right? Yeah, you can have one of those. Alright, cool. Have a newsletter. Thank you. Or you know what? Yeah, yeah. Let me have four FOIA forms for the police side. Okay. You can put your same request on one form. You don't need absolutely, an absolutely. Forms. I'd like to keep three for a later time via USPS. You can also print them from our website if you need to. I prefer hard copies. I thank you though. Okay. okay good. So now I got some designated police for for your forms. Meanwhile, let me fill out these blank, blank forms for the city side. Pause. Now look how intimidating the police uh, FOIA form is. Look how much information it got on there. Really, it's a, it's a napkin you write on. It's a blank page you write on. I'm writing my form on this. Blank page. Oh. See, this is how I like to see it. I got four employees gathered up in a circle working on what I'm requesting. You would never ever see that from the regular requests of the people coming over here to purchase garage sale permits or real estate, real estate transfer stamps. The people got to work for you. People have to work for you. This roster of all employees job duties include salaries and title. Don't worry about my handwriting. Our recorded vacant property, signed and dated oath of offices, uh, records of request of disposal of records, 2020 credit card statements, uh, lobby camera footage. So I got a total of about six different separate employees that came out circ circling around my visit. I'm telling you folks, when you know about the power of the freedom of information, you come in in a different angle. You smell me, you come in in a whole different sphere. And uh, they're sitting back there printing out 400 papers for me right now. See that girl out there, poor girl, she's dealing with traffic court, traffic tickets. I should turn around and tell her, get the judge's oath of office. Get the flimsy attorney's oath of office, or if he has one, or read through his emails, read through their internet browsing history, see what they're talking about you behind the table. See your case number that they generated for you in their emails. You know, audit them. They're coming at you, sending you all this info. Go ahead and audit them. See, they're back there talking and conspiring and stuff. You see, I just want to find one simple error from any employees, one one default, one error, one consp uh, conspiring, one uh, fraud, you know, one thing in any records, um, a out-of-date oath of office, a um, discrimination within an email, a uh, false claim. I want to find one thing and, and, and you know if you really set your time and you really dedicate your time to auditing one municipality or one county or one town and you really really push hard you will find corruption. You will sometimes find some form of corruption. So keep digging in the crates you know keep auditing them keep keep doing the good work. Pause. There they go. They just finished printing them. They're putting the binder clamp or stapler on there. And I'm going to go ahead and have that for me to keep. Right now when he comes out, I'm going to set him straight about FOIAs too. 
Meanwhile, please guys, I'm about 100 subs away from hitting 10,000. I know some boys that started their channel about four or five months ago that got past 10,000. But, you know, my channel is shadow banned. Uh, when you push for the truth, they shadow ban you. So we'll see. Here, here comes the foil officer. That's the book there. Sir, why would you accuse me of believe, thinking that I'm going to run off with the book? Well, I don't know you. Well, sir. I don't know you. Sir. Why are you so cryptic about what you were looking for? We have nothing to hide. We're happy to give you any information you want to have. Sir. For, really, there's a better way of doing this and getting a FOIA, but I'm happy to give it to you. Sir. Not a big deal. This does have the account numbers. That's a good thing. Okay. I've heard that you are the FOIA officer here. This, this, are you the FOIA officer? I'm one of the FOIA officers. One of them. You do have a completed training certificate on file. Yes. Is it readily available for inspection? Uh, it's upstairs in our clerk's office. Okay. Do you need me to fill out a FOIA or can I inspect that? No, you need a FOIA because the clerk's That's not fine. here. That's fine. Okay, my man. I'm filling out a FOIA. I have FOIA request filled out here. Mm -hmm. um, before I hand that over to you, I also need... 5 ILCS 143.5. But before I read that, how do you believe there's a better way of doing this, this business here? Well, not taking up everybody's time to demand it right this second and asking for a FOIA so, for it so we can just well, give it to you. Well, that, that's the good thing that you said that because you said the key word, demand. Nowhere in the FOIA, FOIA uh, Freedom of Information Act 57 pages does it say the word demand. I'm, asking, I'm saying what you asked for. However, it does say shall immediately disclose upon record. So that means you have an obligation to provide these records immediately upon request. And I'll tell you why. But actually, the, the FOIA law gives us some time to do that. That's not. That's only records that need to be gathered. Okay. Not records that are uh, shall be furnished immediately. Did, did I did I give this to you in a timely yeah, manner? Yeah, but you're saying it's a demand. Well, you are asking our people at the window considered it a pretty excessive demand because they don't know Sir, any different. The lady I'm not arguing with you. I'm just telling no, you what, it, what the interpretation was. I wouldn't say it's an argument. At any time somebody wants to speak with a louder voice, my voice gets lower, okay. softer. So the lady... What's your FOIA? The, sure. The lady came in and told you, okay, let's get past that. She told right. you he's asking for a bunch of stuff. That wasn't true. Okay. So what's Sir, your FOIA? ILCS. Oh, you're asking what's my FOIA? Yeah. Like you want to honor a oral request? Sure. Okay. 3.5 FOIA officers. Okay. Freedom of information officers shall develop a list of documents or categories of records that the public body shall immediately disclose upon request. Okay. That's the list of categories that I need. Yep. So it shall develop a list of documents. I need the list of documents from this point to this point. This, these are state legislators, state statutes. <clears throat> Sir, this is, so, this is educational for everybody. Upon receiving the request for public record, the Freedom of Information Officer shall note the date the public bo body receives the written request, compute the day on which the period for response will expire, Beautiful. and make a notation of that date of the written request. Mm -hmm. Maintain electronic or paper copy of written request. Mm -hmm. So, well, submit well, your request. That, that's not the point I was pointing out. It says right here, Freedom of Information Officer. Right shall develop a list of or documents of categories to disclose. Sir, you've probably been working here so, for, for 30 years. So figure out what you it is. Never... You tell me what your FOIA request is, and I'm happy to honor that, okay. and I'll give you all the information you Sir, want. Sir, it's very... Now, listen, I don't want to play semantics and games. No, no, no. There's no games here. I don't want to play semantics with you. I want to get you what you want. I want to give you what you want. Tell me what it is you want, and I will have it provided okay. for you. It's very healthy for a member of the public like me to mm -hmm. come in here and request this type of information and see if the staff members are compliant. Okay. Because you do know that the, you, you've probably been here for 20, 30 years, 10 years, whatever it was. Mm -hmm. You never, ever, ever, ever had a person come in here and conduct their business with dealing with the freedom of information as I am. So it should be a learning process of no seminar would teach. Okay. I should even be charging for my time here. And it's not <laughs> what... It's not what I want, sir. It's what, what the state statutes specify. Okay. This does say that that's what I need here. I need the list of documents of categories. So this book so here. Our, FOIA, our, our clerk is the primary FOIA officer. Okay. She is not she here. She may have that. She may have. Okay. She is not here. I hear you. So this, this, this book right here is one of the books that shall be furnished immediately. 
There should other be other books in this list here, but I hear I just heard what you just said. Okay. So I would ask, do you have five freedom of information forms? Not police side, city side. They're the same forms. Same exact forms? Okay. I'll take your word on that by good faith. I just wanted those to examine those, but I, I didn't want to fill those out per se. Here's my FOIA request here, you sir. You hand me that? I will honor yeah. that as your I'll FOIA. I'll just get a copy. That's fine. Just quick list roster, all recorded vacant properties, signed date, oath of offices, records of disposal of records, yep. if, if you requested any of those, credit card statements, and lobby video footage on this time and date. Um, I just need a copy for my records and a copy for your uh, FOI. Mm. What's that word? Um, include titles and salaries. T I T L E S. My handwriting okay. is like a doctor. <laughs> okay. Sir, I may be the mayor of this town someday. I may be the. You mayor. live in town? I don't answer these type of questions, okay. sir. I may be the governor of the state, sir. You live, I, in, you live in the state? Sir, I don't answer these type of okay. questions. <laughs> See, that's a good, good uh, communication. Where do where do we send these to? Where I have my email by? here: barcompliance at okay. protonmail.com. If you could just stamp, date stamp, and I'll have my copy, and I'll be on my way. Okay. Meanwhile, sir, can you provide a, a tall envelope and your business card? Uh, you know what? Let me write my name down for you. Sure. My business cards are upstairs. And Okay, that's good Good enough. That'll be do. That'll be fine. You know, you do also know that there there's very poor reviews here for Google and uh, Yelp for for the town customer serve or you know services. How is your opinion right now? Have well, we been helpful or have we not been helpful? Well, you know, it's not about being helpful. It's about compliance. It's about compliance with my visit. Maybe other folks have a different opinion, but it's about compliance. And I, I you know, I feel that I'm being rushed out of here. No. I provided you everything you wanted to get. Okay, sure. I'll just be waiting. Actually, on with a copy that you, can ha that you can keep and not have to sit here and look at it. Flint, right? like Flint, Michigan. There you go. But I do, my man. We have better water. <laughs> I did. I do always prefer to view hard copies, the ones that are uh, that belong to the comptroller, finance director, and so on and so mm -hmm. forth. Here's an organizational chart. Here, mm -hmm. it does show. It does not show the people are at the top of the chart. But anyhow, you'd have to go through each individual. Okay? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, sir, that's good enough. Um, yep, I'll just wait on a copy and a tall folder if you do have, and I'll be on my way. Okay. My man. Village administrator. <laughs> Are you a citizen of the uh, town? I don't answer these type of questions. Are you a citizen of the state? I don't answer these type of questions. <laughs> he said, we're not going to play games or antics. So he said, because I don't know you, you could be running off with the book. Well, I don't know you, but I'm going to because I'm going to investigate your entire scope. <laughs> Look, now she's she got that salty stance. She got that salty stance. Like, oh my God, I didn't know this is the way it works. These regular peasants can make mo things move like this? The regular people that are beneath us can make things like move like this? Now, this is a beautiful uh, book with the account numbers here. This is what I always want. So you see how it says account number? Got the account numbers? That's what I want. Because this is what I'm going to have fun with reading through this. Pause. 
for example, For example, it says boot fees. It's got an account number here, and it's got boot fees right next to it. Here, let me let me zoom in. It's got boot fees. How many how many boots they put on people's vehicles? And it's got a uh, it's got amounts here in the years that they that they collected. So you punch in that account number on the FOIA request. You punch in the description. You punch in the year and the amounts. And then they'll give you individual receipts of everything you're looking for. That's what I'm telling you folks. Get on it. Okay. Here you go, sir. Okay, no envelope, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. I don't know, man. You guys tell me pass or fail. And like I said, I don't want, I don't, I, 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 yeah, nice. Each people being nice is cool. But it's not about niceness. It's about compliance. I always remember that. It's not about niceness. It's about compliance. Period. Period. A proud and progressive village for all people. That's good enough. Anything else I can help you with? That's all. See this note here, sir? It's not about niceness. It's about compliance. Well, I get you. But we can have a nice conversation about stuff and sure, not have absolutely. to be adversarial, right? Yeah, but I wouldn't accuse you of something just because I don't know you, especially of something of wrongdoing. So if I'm going to give... If I'm going to give the one copy I have of something to somebody, shouldn't I know who I'm giving that copy to? Sir, that's a federal crime, sir. No, it's not a federal crime. It's a it's state crime. It's a state crime. crime. It's a so, state but crime. But shouldn't I know who I'm giving that copy to? Because well, I'm not going to sit here and watch you. It's not right? required according to state statutes. Oh, but, but it's good practice, wouldn't it be? Sir, anyhow, it's your opinion. Okay. Uh, received, yep, and uh, in five business days. Okay, good enough. Anything else I can help you with? Have a blessed day, sir. You too. Um, yep, that's all. Oh, oh, yeah. Last question I wanted to ask you. What rating would you like on Yelp out of five stars? Well, I'm five for five. Good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day, sir. See you. Thanks. Okay. So, he wants a five-star review on Yelp. Like I said, again, what do you guys say? Audit them. I always encourage you to audit them. You guys be the vote.